Good morning friends and happy Sunday. I have a fun day planned today and I feel like it's been a while since I've properly vlogged so I thought that I would take you guys along. Um, to start off, Landon invited me on a tea date at a local plant nursery. They have this really amazing, um, I don't know, landscape of all these plants that you can buy, but then also this cottagey house that you can have tea in. And I've never been, but Landon has, and he's been wanting to take me. So we're gonna go ahead and get breakfast and tea there. And then I also recently found this amazing new bookshelf. Hold on. Okay, this is the bookshelf. I found it at Goodwill for only $40. It's real wood, the entire thing. It's a wooden bookshelf bookcase. I don't know what the difference is, but um, only $40 used at Goodwill. So I was really, really happy to find that because I've been looking for um, a bookcase or bookshelf for a while now. I like to buy all of my furniture secondhand, like almost everything in our house is secondhand but um, bookshelves are hard to come by and they're really expensive that bookshelf would normally be like two hundred dollars or more probably more if it were brand new but it was only forty dollars so i'm really excited to have found that and i have books overflowing everywhere if you look closely there are books in every single corner of this house so now that I have that bookcase, I want to fill it, or not necessarily fill it up immediately, but put books on it and other little knickknacks. So I want to do that today. And then I also really need to do some repotting slash spring maintenance of my houseplants. I think that going to the nursery will have me very excited to care for my houseplants. Um, and then to end the night, I just am going to make us a hearty dinner of some sort. I'm thinking pizza from scratch, which is my new favorite thing to make right now. Hopefully we'll be able to grill it if the weather stays nice. It's really nice out today. It's sunny and a high of just about 60 degrees, which is so <laughs> nice and warm after coming out of winter. And then as always, I hope to squeeze in a bit of reading here and there whenever I can. I'm currently reading The Book Thief with my Patreon book club, and it's so many people's favorite book of all time and I've never read it so I'm very much looking forward to finding out exactly why this book is so loved by so many. So friends go ahead and grab yourselves a hot cup of tea or coffee your favorite cozy blanket and let's get to it. <laughs> Yeah. Forensi needs a new pot. I love it. 
And you could paint on it too? Yeah. back it was so much fun it was so much fun and we got some really good stuff I wanted to show you guys what we picked up so we have these um, above ground planters that we hope to use this year and so we picked up some bok choy this is this right here and then also we got excuse me some strawberry, which I'm the most excited about. Although I have learned that strawberry is kind of finicky to care for. So I'm gonna need to do some strawberry research. Um, we also got some garlic. Hope that goes well. And then I bought a peppermint plant for tea. I also picked up some fertilizer and then this was a bit of a splurge, but I'm so excited about it. This is a test tube. I don't know what you would call it. It's just a bunch of test tubes, but you put flowers in them and you can make different shapes. All good things. Um, it's still really chilly outside, so I'm gonna wait for it to warm up before I repot my plants and get all earthy. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the bookshelf. So, as I mentioned before, I want to, I don't really, I don't want to fill it immediately because the whole point of having it is to have more space to grow my library, but I don't want it empty. And I also, it's in a very public place for the time when we are able to have company or just like friends and family over. So like, I want the book selection to be aesthetically pleasing but I also want it to be books that I love because I know people will be looking at them and I want to make sure that it accurately, accurately represents the reader that I am. So there's a lot of different things going on here. <laughs> I don't want it to be too full and I want to be able to put knickknacks on it, but also it's a bookcase and I desperately need to sort the books that are everywhere in this house. Um, but then I also feel very picky about the kinds of books that I want on this bookcase. So. We'll see what I come up with. I'm not gonna buy anything extra just to fill it up. I'm gonna see what I have around the house and then gradually fill it up as I buy more books and knickknacks, but I do want it to look nice and some form of complete. So friends, let's get to it.
I've gone around the house and collected all sorts of books and trinkets to possibly fill the bookcase with. love it so so much this whole bookcase makes me so happy just the bookshelf in and of itself feels very adult feels very sophisticated i don't know i have no idea why it just feels like a real legitimate bookcase to me and that makes me happy and then everything on here is i just feel like it's such a great representation of Landon and me, if that makes any sense. So let me just describe or explain how I organized the books. So the top shelf is everything plant. So it's books about different plants, whether it's medicinal herbs or just trees in general. There's some books on tea as well as philosophy surrounding nature. The next shelf, I wasn't gonna have this shelf originally because for whatever reason, I feel self-conscious displaying my literary books that I studied in school. It kind of feels, I don't know, it feels uppity to me for some reason. However, I did go to university and study literature and this is my literary studies shelf because you know what? I studied hard and it's perfectly okay for me to show these books. I don't know, it's odd, but it's mostly Shakespeare. I have some early American literature and then some historical British literature, as well as some Spanish literature that I've studied, including Federico Garcia Lorca and uh, Roberto Bolano, uh, as well as Pablo Neruda. These are all poetry collections, but Yes, I also have some Chaucer, some Hemingway. It spans quite the amount of time, but it tends to be more intellectual, if you will. Then below that, I have my workbook slash textbook area. So I have all my drawing guides as well as a Spanish textbook and art history textbook, both of which I got for like $5 from Goodwill. I so highly recommend browsing the textbook section at Goodwill if you're looking to learn something new. Uh, to the left of that is all about tiny houses or rather living spaces out in nature. This is something that Landon's really 
uh, passionate about. He's very much into building small spaces in a sustainable way out in nature. So tree houses, tiny homes, um, car camping setups. He's currently building us a pop-up camper in the back of his truck, which is really cool. And then that section kind of carries down into the left corner of this shelf, which flows into some spirituality slash philosophy reads. And then I've carried that into my children's literature section because how could I not include children's literature, my all-time favorite genre? I had to, of course, display my illustrated Harry Potter books, and then I went ahead and just put some of my favorite children's stories beside that, such as Peter Pan, Anne of Green Gables, The Hobbit, Snow and Rose, and so on and so forth. So that's it. It makes me so happy. Very satisfied with this purchase. $40 just for this. Amazing. Um, it is much later than I thought it would be, which should have been expected. I got totally absorbed in this process. So I don't have time to do plant repotting. However, I am filming this work week and I will be sure to include plant maintenance and repotting in that video, especially because it's supposed to be really nice and sunny and warm this week. So that'll force me to make the most of being outside or at least schedule outside time specifically for my plants. That aside though, it is time to make dinner and I thought that I would make pizza from scratch, which is my favorite thing to make at the moment. And I want to do kind of a white pizza, so it's going to have a hummus, garlicky, creamy base. And then I'm going to top it with jalapenos, spinach, maybe some peppers. I'll see what else we have, but it's going to be good. So cut to the cooking. to write this. Oh my gosh.
That is so good. Is it so good? <laughs> <laughs> well, Mo, I give this pizza an 8.7. Cheers to that. <laughs> Seriously, how beautiful, Mo. Thank you. You absolutely rock this. This is going to be like a focal point. Like, people will adore this as soon as they walk in. You think so? Absolutely. People are going to search this up and down. It's like so, like, it's so beautiful. I love it. And I didn't, so like, it's trendy to like have an all color matching bookcase. So like, people will turn their books backwards so that only the pages show and they'll only show like blue covers or white or black. Interesting. And it looks really good, but I just didn't want to do that. I so it is kind of like wild better. with color, but um, it makes me happy because it's us. I don't think yeah. it's wild with color at all. I think it's just the right amount of color.